The video you're about to see explains how nuclear medicine tests are conducted. You'll see the equipment that is used and learn how the tests are carried out. On the day of your nuclear medicine test, you need to bring the list of medications you take and your hospital and health insurance cards with you. You must tell the nuclear medicine technologist if you are pregnant or think you might be, if you are breastfeeding, if you are claustrophobic or unable to remain lying down for more than 30 minutes. Should such a case arise, we may or may not go ahead with the test. If we decide to go ahead, the technologist will give you instructions to follow. It is important not to move during the test, so the specialist can make the most accurate diagnosis. If you do move, we will have to repeat the test. The wait time for the scan, the instructions to be followed, and time required for the test may vary from one test to another. Please note that the technologists are not authorized to comment on the results of your test. Your doctor will inform you of the results. Your doctor has prescribed a nuclear medicine test for you. This medical specialty assesses the function and structure of organs and tissues using a radioactive tracer. This medical imaging technique uses the smallest possible quantity of radioactive material to see the heart, lungs, liver, thyroid, kidneys, bones, etc. Generally speaking, these tests help your doctor finalize his or her diagnosis so your condition can be managed more effectively. The product injected is a radiopharmaceutical, a radioactive tracer. It will be adjusted for the type of test you will be undergoing and will involve a minimal dose of radiation, comparable to what you would experience during a CT scan. Side effects from receiving an injection of this product occur very rarely. The device used to take the images is called a gamma camera. This camera detects each ray emitted by the organ or tissue being studied and reconstructs the image on a screen. It may also be used along with a computer tomography scan, a CT scan, which uses x-rays. Generally, you stay dressed and remove all metal objects, jewelry, etc., as they can interfere with image quality. While the test is being conducted, most of the time you will be lying down without moving and the technologist will stay close by. The following are the different possible positions in which the device may be placed depending on the test requested. The possible scenarios include the two camera detectors turning around you without touching you, or the detectors remaining in place, one above you and one below you, with the camera above possibly moving close to your face for between 3 and 15 minutes, depending on the test being done. The scintigraphy is generally carried out in three steps. The injection of the product, a waiting period, the imaging when the pictures are taken, in some cases, the pictures may be taken following the injection, without a waiting period. In the case of a cardiac or myocardial scintigraphy, these steps sometimes include a stress test. This will be described later. A nuclear medicine technologist will come to the waiting room to get you and take you to the injection room. Once in the injection room, the technologist will verify your identity a second time, your birth date, verify that this is indeed the test requested by your doctor or specialist, ensure that you have done any preparation required before the test. If special preparation was required, you will have been given the instructions when you made your appointment for the test. Complete a short questionnaire with you. You may have already completed it, 
in which case the technologist will review it with you. Explain how your test will be carried out and inform you of the length of time you must wait between your injection and the imaging. The technologist will inject a small quantity of a radioactive product into a vein in your arm. The injection will be quick and relatively painless. Following the injection, you will be asked to maintain pressure on the injection site for about three minutes to prevent bleeding. Before leaving the injection room, the technologist will repeat the instructions to follow during the waiting period. He or she will also give you an idea of about what time you will be called for the imaging. It is very important that you follow the instructions and remember what time you are to return for imaging. A technologist will come to the waiting room to get you for the imaging. It is important that you not move during the scan. During the imaging, you will be lying down with your arms over your head or alongside your body. Here are examples of the types of imaging done during a scintigraphy of bone, liver, kidney, or lung. The images will be analyzed by a specialist and the results sent to the doctor treating you or the doctor who requested the test. Myocardial perfusion imaging is a test to assess your heart at rest and when it is working hard or stressed. By comparing the two parts of the test, the doctor can assess how well the blood flows to the muscle of your heart, myocardium. Radioactive tracer is injected to see whether the blood flows through your heart normally or whether there are blocked arteries. Generally, a cardiolite scintigraphy or myocardial perfusion imaging takes place in two parts, one while at rest and the other while your heart is working hard, a stress test. The latter test is done on a treadmill or under pharmaceutical stimulation with percentine or dobutamine. This test proceeds as follows. Injection at rest and imaging and injection during stress and imaging. Sometimes this test is done during a single appointment. A nuclear medicine technologist will come to the waiting room to get you and take you to the injection room. Once in the injection room, the technologist will verify your identity a second time. Birth date. Verify that this is indeed the test requested by your doctor or specialist. Ensure that you have done any preparation required before the test. You will have been given the instructions when you made your appointment for the test. Complete a short questionnaire with you and explain how your test will be carried out. During your first appointment for the test at rest, the technologist will inject a small quantity of a radioactive product into a vein in your arm. The injection will be quick and relatively painless. Following the injection, you will be asked to maintain pressure at the injection site for about three minutes to prevent bleeding. There will then be a waiting period of about one hour before the imaging is done. The technologist will tell you what time to come back for the imaging. The technologist may give you instructions to follow during this waiting period in terms of drinking, eating, and walking. It is very important to follow these instructions. At the end of the waiting time, images of your heart will be taken for about a 15-minute period. You will be lying down with your arms over your head and the camera will move around you. The technologist may attach electrodes so that your heartbeats can be synchronized with the pictures. The technologist will then check the pictures. Sometimes the imaging must be repeated. Once the imaging is complete, the technologist will explain how your next appointment involving the stress test will proceed. This part of the test will be carried out on a treadmill or under pharmaceutical stimulation with persantine or dobutamine in lieu of effort on the treadmill. 
If the second part of your test is to be done on a treadmill, the technologist will insert an intravenous catheter and send you to the cardiology department. Once in cardiology, you will be asked a few questions about your health and we will attach electrodes to you to monitor your heart activity during the test. We will also take your blood pressure before, during and after the test. You will walk on the treadmill and once you've reached the target heart rate, the technologist will inject the radioactive tracer into the catheter. The electrodes and catheter will be removed once you finish the treadmill test. We will then give you instructions to follow during the waiting period. For example, to drink, eat and walk. It is very important to follow these instructions. Once the waiting period is over, which is approximately 45 minutes, a second set of pictures will be taken, similar to those taken while you were at rest. These pictures will show your heart when it is stressed. The technologist will come get you in the waiting room and get you ready for the test. He or she will attach electrodes and insert a catheter in your arm. The technologist will then take your blood pressure and do an electrocardiogram. The specialist, a nuclear medicine physician, will inject the drug, presentine or dobutamine, into your catheter. Then he or she will inject the tracer. At the end of the procedure, if required, we will give you a product that neutralizes the effects of the presentine or dobutamine. We will then give you the instructions to follow during the waiting period, for example, to drink, eat and walk. It is very important to follow these instructions. Once the waiting period is over, which is about 45 minutes long, a second set of pictures will be taken, similar to those taken while you were at rest. These pictures will show your heart when it is stressed. Please note that for the Thallium 201 test, the stress test will be done first, with the pictures taken immediately after the injection of the drug, presentine or dobutamine. A second set of pictures at rest will be taken four to six hours after the stress test. After the scan, you will be able to eat normally and resume your activities, including driving and working. The injected product does not cause drowsiness. In most cases, drinking lots of liquid will be recommended to eliminate the radioactive product quickly and easily. For a 24-hour period following the test, it is best to keep a distance, at least one meter or three feet between yourself and young children and pregnant women. If this is impossible, reduce the amount of time you spend next to them during this time. Are you planning to go through customs in the days or weeks following your test? Make sure you have the completed and signed form from the technologist in your possession. This form certifies the date of the test and the type of product used during your nuclear medicine test. This will help you avoid having to wait several hours at customs. Do I have to do anything to prepare for the test? If you need to do any special preparation, it will be explained to you when you make the test appointment. How long will I be in hospital? The duration varies from one test to the next. They generally take between 20 and 45 minutes. However, some tests may take longer. You will be informed if this is the case for you. Are nuclear medicine tests dangerous? No, nuclear medicine tests are not dangerous. Are there side effects? Side effects are very rare. Will I be radioactive after the test? The length of time during which you will be radioactive will depend on the substance being used. The amount of radiation is no more than what you would receive during routine x-rays. However, contrary to x-rays, with a scintigraphy, the dose of radiation does not increase with the number of images taken. The kidneys quickly eliminate the substance from the blood. There are certain myths about nuclear medicine tests. The radioactive product does not cause heart problems and you will not glow in the dark. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to discuss them with the staff who will be with you during your test.